Hi everyone, so today we're going to be wishing for Ayaka because I have prepared for her and I do have her guaranteed because I ended up pulling a Chi Chi at 3 pity. So the team we have here is the Orion Shogun, you know, top of Inazuma, Kokomi to represent the um, Watatsumi Resistance, Kujo Sara to represent one of the commissions, and then an empty spot for Inactivity Ayaka. serves. I have enough for one temple, and I really hope that this isn't what, like the Yaelon situation again. I'm tempted to wait until Saturday because of the monthly reset in the shop. As you can see, three more days left. But I'm impatient. So this would put us at 74 pity. I'm actually gonna buy one because this would put us at 75. Okay, get ready for this guy. Why not? Purpose whatsoever. Okay, I shall see you all <laughs> Saturday then. Hi everyone, so it's actually Tuesday, not Saturday. I managed to exchange my dendro sigils at the tree of, tree of dreams so i got these two and then i ended up doing some quests finishing the event and then commissions to get these so we can do three wishes um Okay, let's admire her for a bit, and then to the Permafu Shenha, but without Shenha. So, Kazuha, Kokomi, Rosario, which I need to level up, and then Ayaka. Kami Sato Ayaka, present. Because Elemental Resonance provides another, um, another 15% crit rate, which we actually don't see on Ayaka. But it will still be there for opponents affected by cryo, which will be almost all the time, or frozen opponents. So we can automatically say that that is about mm, 50 crit rate so far. And then if we throw something like Blizzard Strayer on that, which if I can find it, I have horrible pieces. But cryo damage bonus plus 15, and then when a character attacks an opponent affected by cryo, their crit rate is increased by 20%. So that's already 70%, let's say. And then if the opponent is frozen, crit rate is increased by an additional 20%, so that's 40% altogether, from what I understand. And so that's more than enough. Paul is now getting good pieces, and then... This piece is copium, don't ask. So yeah, getting good pieces, and then obviously this is zero talents. I've been farming the talent material, but I'm not sure how that's going. And then that, so let's start to level her up. Yeah, we're already low on the highest grade ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and farm those. 
So I leveled this artifact and it ended up rolling three times into crit damage, once into uh, HP and then once into ER, and I think this is a pretty good piece, uh, considering that it's, it's pretty bad. But, you know, it could work, so just wanted to say that. Okay, so I ended up getting Ina and I'm sending her, so she's now level 60 as opposed to the level 40 when I started. A blade embraces its um, duty as a jeweler team. cherishes their gem. My Rosaria needs a ton of more leveling, and I think I'm going to do that after I've completely leveled my I'm going to need to read a little bit about her passives and level up her talents, but... Next time you see me, uh, I think I'm going to be doing a Spiral Lopez video because, you know, now I can have two full teams. As opposed to the extremely underleveled ones that I used to use. So, thank you for watching. So this is a day in the life mind. of the traveler. Uh, I would ask you to please subscribe. <laughs> I'm learning more about you all the time. Thank you to those who are already subscribed to me and supporting my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.